Bonjour. Uh, this is a lesson on using more than one pronoun in a sentence. So, so far we have learned about using direct and indirect object pronouns, le, la, les, lui, leur. We've also talked about using the adverbial pronouns, i and en. Uh, you also have reflexive pronouns, which are not part of this course, but they are still considered pronouns. And in terms of putting them um, into a sentence with more than one pronoun, that they're included in the lesson, okay? So now that you have learned how to use these pronouns, you may have started thinking, hmm, you know, it would be nice to use more than one pronoun in a sentence. I know you can do that in French, I just need the rules. So that's what I'm gonna do. Today I'm going to show you the rules. It's really, it's not, hard to do. You just need to learn the order. So I'll show you a chart in just a minute. And the really comforting thing is that the pronoun order, when you have more than one in a sentence, is always going to be the same. Almost always going to be the same. Okay, you'll learn later when we talk about giving commands, affirmative commands, with more than one pronoun, the order does change a bit. So, but usually the order is is the same. So once you learn the chart, you know you've got it down. Um, when you were learning how to use pronouns, do you remember in the present tense we always put the verb right in front of the main verb of the sentence? We always put the pronoun in front of the main verb. And in the passé composé, where were we putting the pronoun in front of? the helping verb. And in the future proche, we were putting the pronoun in front of the infinitive. The same is going to be true if you have more than one pronoun. So that's good. And then I'm going to remind you where negation needs to be placed when, when you're trying to use pronouns, uh, one or more pronouns in a sentence. Uh, I think it would be very, very rare to have more than two pronouns in a sentence, you can come up with sentences with three pronouns in them for sure. I mean, it's not easy. You can do it, but French people don't talk that way. It becomes overly complicated. So let's keep it simple and work with double pronouns, just two at a time. Okay, so let's look at this pronoun order that I mentioned to you. Remember, pronouns precede the verb, and now here's your order. So if you have more than one in a sentence, and one of those is me, te, nous, or vous, that one's always going to come first. So me, te, nous, and vous can be reflexive. They can be direct. Like, think about it. If I say, look at me, well, that's an affirmative command. Don't look at me. Ne me regarde pas. The me is a direct object right? Um, he is giving me a present. He's giving something to me. So me is, can also be an indirect object. Um, je me couche. That's a reflexive pronoun. Okay. So me, te, nous, and vous can have different functions in a sentence, but they always come first. Followed by the direct object pronouns le, la, and les. Next in line are your indirect object pronouns lui and leur. Then you get your adverbial pronouns, i and en. So en is always the last one. And I'm going to show you some examples now. But when you start working on the exercises and going through your practice cards, you'll get a lot of opportunities to really, you know, drill and kill this new, this new thing that you're learning today. So let's look at present tense examples. Remember, pronouns before the main verb. So I'm going to use the same example in the present, passé, and futur, but you'll see how they change a bit in terms of placement of pronouns. So, je lis une histoire aux enfants, right? Okay, I want to replace the underlined words with pronouns, so I replace histoire with un. Do you recognize why? Because it's preceded by a number, in fact, which happens to be an indefinite article. Une. So I am reading a story to the children. So I replace histoire with un. Now there's a quantity there, so I'm not going to get rid of the quantity. I'm going to leave it in my sentence. And aux enfants, where here you have a form of a followed by people. So that indicates an indirect object. So we replace it with leur, right? Since it's plural. So je leur en lis une. 
Je leur en lis une. I've put leur in front of en. Let's just look back up at our chart. You see, leur, right here, leur comes before en. Okay, so je leur en lis une, present tense. I wanted to show you this with negations just so that you could remember. Je ne lis pas une histoire aux enfants, so I'm not reading a story to the children. Look where the ne and the pas go in the sentence. Je ne leur en pas, pardon, je ne leur en lis pas une. Je ne leur en lis pas une. Okay, so leur and en still comes before the verb, but ne, okay, ne and pas have to surround the pronouns and the verb. Okay, it's like you have a negation sandwich stuffed with pronouns and verbs. And it means I'm not reading them one. Okay, that's your present tense. So now we have to look at passé composé, same example, different tense. J'ai lu une histoire aux enfants, right? J'ai lu, passé composé, I read. So I'm going to now put my pronouns in front of or before the helping verb, which is the verb avoir. Here it's A-I-A. -A. Je leur en ai lu une. Je leur en ai lu une. Okay, so that means I read them one. Sometimes people get confused because they're like, oh, where does it, where is it supposed to go? Passé composé before the helping verb. Now look at the negation. Je n'ai pas lu une histoire aux enfants. Okay, that's fine. We've got ne and pas around the verb avoir. Now the same thing is going to happen in when, when we add the pronouns. I still have ne. And I still have pa around the verb avoir, but I cannot separate avoir from the pronouns that come before it. Okay, so this, like I said, can be a little tricky in the passé composé. Je ne leur en ai pas lu une. Je ne leur en ai pas lu une. D'accord? Future proche. This time we're going to put pronouns before infinitives. Je vais lire une histoire aux enfants. D'accord? I'm going to read a story to the children. So remember, in the future proche, you have, of course, the verb aller followed by an infinitive. Right? So if I am going to now add pronouns, you've, you've done this before. You were just using one pronoun. Remember, you put it before the infinitive. Do the same thing, just keep them in order. Je vais leur en lire une. Je vais leur en lire une. Right? And then if you, to make this negative, that's, that's not complicated at all because it's just the verb aller that is being negated. And we're going to keep our pronouns right before the infinitive. Right? So, je ne vais pas leur en lire une. Je ne vais pas leur en lire une. So, that's it for the rules. It's not a real long lesson. Uh, this is the most important part right here. This normal pronoun order and this chart. And if you look in the next section in your course, you'll see that I have a chart, a bigger chart, with some more examples that you can print out or keep handy on your advice, uh, on your device, because you're going to need to keep this chart handy for a little while as you memorize and practice using double pronouns. Okay, merci beaucoup et à bientôt.